this video I'm going to take you through how to make this fun waterfall pocket. It's um, got a banded closure and four waterfall layers with room for a photo at the bottom and it goes into the album on a band to create a nice deep pocket. So here's how the mechanism goes together. First of all, start with your base piece of card and take your four waterfall pieces round the corners if you want to. Let's just do that on mine. I quite like the corners rounded. I'm just using a one eighth punch. All the bases for my projects are all made on our premium black A4 card. It's 210 GSM, which is perfect weight for albums. And of course, it goes perfectly with our signature black construction tape as well. So we're going to start off with our base piece and the first of our photo map bases and they get put on and lined up with this four and one eight score line and they're all stuck down with the tab facing downwards so on all of your photo mats you want to put a strip of double-sided tape just across at the tab it doesn't matter which side of the tab because you can fold it. This is a dodgy roll of tape, it's all coming in there. Um, you can fold it, you can fold the tab either way. So let's create a pile of pieces. my four photo mats. Fold and score your tabs. Score lines on your photo mats I mean, the tabs. And then we're ready to start. So with the tab facing downwards and the tape facing downwards, we're going to put the first of the photo mats in place, lining it up with the bottom of the base card. And then when you're happy with where it's sitting, take backing tape off your tab, fold it under and stick it down and it should follow that score line that you've put on the card. Then take the next piece and it's going to sit above piece number one. So the half inch tab is butted up against the fold of piece number one and you want to make sure that your sides are nice and even and then take off your backing strip and stick down. So I've held the piece in place while I've done that and you just carry on doing that. Lining them up, butting the half inch tab up against the fold of the piece underneath and then And then the last one comes on and it just leaves a one eighth of an inch black gap just for the top edge of your pocket. If it doesn't do that, don't worry. If you don't want that, you can always trim it off. So that's the waterfall section all in. And then we want to put the top band in place. So fold it on the half inch score line. There's scores at five eighths of an inch and three quarters, and that's just to give a bit of depth to the band before the paper gets stuck on. That's going to hook around the top and it's just the half inch tab that you're sticking to the back centrally. I'm just going to use the eyeball method, but if you want to find the centre, 
you could measure that. You want to stick it on nice and straight. Oops. And then the buckle piece is just a piece of card that's folded over. And stuck. And that's just one eighth wider than the width of the band, which is half an inch. So it slides. Let's just show you. It should slide in place. Oops. Quite easily when it's decorated with paper. Easily, she says, but it's, mine's not sticking for some reason. Oh, I put my tape too far over. Let's retape it. I can't get the tape off, it's really sticky. So this is the JJ Extra Sticky Tape that we sell on our website, and it is fabulous. It is as good as score tape. So then the buckle will slide on and off. But I'm going to attach it to the bottom piece of the buckle that comes round, or the belt that comes round. And this piece gets stuck underneath the bottom edge of the large backing piece that we've built on. So line those two pieces up so you've got them nice and straight. And then you can put your buckle onto the bottom section. And line, you want to line it up with the top edge of the bottom section. And you want to put some tape across the back to stick the two pieces together. So I'm going to take the tape off and then just move the buckle, line it up at the very top edge of the band and stick. So now the buckle, you can only put the top flap in at the front, it just keeps it neat. If you want to round the corners on the, whoops, the buckle or the band, then do. And that will fit in and keep everything closed. And then the whole thing sits on a band that goes across the paper on the page. You could put it into your album just like this. You could even, because it's all made on a band on the back, one sheet on the back, you could even turn that into a page and make a few and they could go into your album either way. So just make a mini album out of just waterfalls, which would be really nice and hold lots of pictures. Or you can put it into the page like I've done in my Make a Splash album. Let's show you how it goes in. So here it is. And it's mounted on a piece of black card that is hooked around the paper on the page before the paper is stuck in place. That gets rid of the ends of the band. So the band is hooked around the paper and then this is stuck in place so that, I mean what you could do is stick the whole thing together 
finding the center between the ends. So you've got this band centered under this piece and stick it in place. Hook it over your paper and then the bottom edge down here is stuck in place at the bottom of the paper and that creates a nice deep pocket. So this pocket goes all the way down right to the bottom here, but you can see what you put in at the sides. So it's just a funky way of creating a new pocket. So I hope that's inspired you. Thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.